Sometimes it's exactly as you described it. Sometimes they just made better plays. And that's what he's been doing. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Julian Edelman, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Patriots add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. They're taking that. point try for Goskowski. <laughs> and that stretches the lead to 27. So that drive spanned five plays and it's Goskowski now after the touchdown he'll send this one away that's fielded in the end zone oh, heck of a move. Man. and he will be brought down here at about the 17 yard line out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here and down on the scoreboard certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive punting the football Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And ready now for second and nine. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. They set up the screen to a J. It's a loss of 11 on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. I really don't know where to go with this one. He caught the pass, but in the opposite direction towards his own end zone. That's not one you get every game. Third and long, it's Tannehill. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Dante Hightower in there to get him, and that's sack number 12 for him on the year. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Here's 
here's Matt Dar now. He's been terrific so far. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. Taking it about the 36. Oh, shifty! Whoa! A very good return that time. 18 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. So the Patriots coming out now. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And the evidence shows last week's game. It's really leaked into a second game now, Charles. What do you think of this? And it's a surprise, isn't it? Because when we spent time watching them practice, talking with the coaches, they felt like a bounce back was going to happen this week. They were very confident in the game plan, thought the defenses they would see would present great opportunities for big-time runs. We're not getting that so far. I don't know if this is a game plan or if they're just being overwhelmed by the defense they're facing. Goes underneath here to White. And he had a quick little spin move, but the door shut fast as he's dropped. Given six on the play, and that'll make it third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Now Brady. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. I'm not sure we can spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And this is incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Dolphins defense is able to hold. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And again, this time to the tailback. And he will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And that's also all for this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. in that middle ground here on third down. Third and five. Set three. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. That's caught by Parker. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college, Mark? That's accurate, yeah. And, and I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Back to throw, Tannehill. It's caught, Cameron, left side. 
A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first half completion. See, in that play, I understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really hey, difficult hey, time. Hey. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. That's up a nice second down for them. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That was a nice and run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off. You should have to about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And Cameron has it over the middle. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Yeah, that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pick up on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Again, Tannehill. On the left side, this is Stills. 12 yards there as they move the chains. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. 